So if you're a cat mum, or if you just love cats, <laughs> take a wee nip down to b and &M. I got this wee glass cup yesterday. I actually thought it was plastic because I did see this on TikTok. Okay, so filthiest of she glam again. What can I say? I love these videos. Who doesn't love affordable makeup, right? I have a couple of primers here to use. I was gonna maybe do half and half. That's a good idea, but I sometimes don't really like doing that. So I'm just gonna be using one of these today and then maybe tomorrow or in another tutorial, obviously, I'm gonna be using another one. So the first one I have here, this is definitely, as you can see, not from the packaging, it's not a jip in terms of the packaging, but the whole idea around this product in general is definitely a jip for the low recipe. brand. Dew drops. So this is the Melon Melt Niacinamide Serum Primer. Look how adorable that packaging is. Like frost glass pump obviously. It just looks like the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. Smells like them too. I would say you'd be able to use this as not only a primer, but you'd be able to use this as a serum, maybe within your skincare routine as well. Because it does say that it has obviously niacinamide extract, watermelon extract, and sodium hyaluronium. Whatever that is, I have no idea. <laughs> I definitely like the feel of it. It felt like a really nice, just like a typical serum. I was actually expecting it to kind of sink into my skin a wee bit better and a bit quicker actually but I can definitely tell that it has left like a nice slip to the skin not overly G or greasy but it definitely has left a bit of a slick and a bit of a dew to the skin so if you have oily skin or even combination skin I'm not too sure how you would feel about this but because I have dry skin this is what I look for in a primer not even just a primer but like a skincare primer or like a hybrid between a skincare product and a primer prior to makeup application but yeah from memory i know i'm going to be kind of comparing these to the dew drops from glow, glow recipe it's been a while since i've used them so i can't actually really remember what they're like but they are very very similar in terms of like how the finish is and how they look and how they feel on the skin and this is like a fraction of the price. Oh, I didn't know it was called that. <laughs> this is like the first time I'm actually reading the packaging properly. I just know it as the stick foundation, but it's the Skin Magnet High Coverage Foundation Stick. Funny enough, I have heard people mention and talk about that on TikTok, that it has magnet-like technology. But I have two shades here, of course, my foundation shade, and then I got a darker shade to cream bronze with. That's the shade that I'm gonna be taking there, golden. I feel like this is gonna be very similar to the Skin Balm. Like the Skin Balm in a solid form. And I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 101 brush to blend this out, it might seem a wee bit. But, because I know and love the Skin Balm foundation so much, I feel like there's not gonna be much difference between, whoa, look at all those birds. I feel like there's not gonna be much difference in how this foundation stick looks to the Skin Balm, if that makes sense. But, let's blend this in anyway. So straight away I could definitely tell that it was quite nice and creamy. So far it's not looking cakey. It's blending in seamlessly. I'm going to apply a wee bit more. Why not? So just a couple of swipes. <laughs> Highly unnecessary. Don't judge. Or judge if you want. I don't really care. And then I'm going to go in and blend this with a sponge. <sighs> God, this is boring. I knew I was going to love this foundation. I love how full coverage it is without it looking cakey. So, just gonna give these another close up. I have no lighting on today, so this is natural lighting that I'm using. But look at that. This is what I mean. This is what the Skin Balm foundation looks like on my skin as well. What I can compare this to coverage wise, how it looks and how it sits on the skin is kind of like my, this is a bold statement, <laughs> the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation, Be Perfect Chroma Cover, in terms of like the full coverage-ness of it, but you see like the natural bit of G that's coming through my skin as well, the way it's not completely drying down. But it's sitting beautifully on my skin as well. I love the coverage. And I love how it's sitting, how it's looking. And it seems to be applying beautifully on top of the... What is this? <laughs> the Melon Milk Niacinamide Serum Primer. I 
have two of these now because I did buy a top up. What's the new one? And what's the... Oh, I can't tell because they're both dirty. Why is that so mean? Okay, so yeah, this is the... This is the new one, um, but this is the Complexion Boost Concealer. So if you watched my videos, my tutorials, you would know I absolutely love this. <laughs> and I've raved about it quite a few times. And this was just one of these concealers that I did pick up on Chico. I'm just going to actually do one of these videos. I wasn't exactly interested in it in terms of like the name of the product, the packaging or anything. I just picked it up so I would have a concealer to use and review. Boy oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I have picked up a backup of this concealer because it is absolutely amazing. Okay, that should definitely be enough because this is probably one of the nicest and best full coverage concealers that I have in my collection at the minute that is at an affordable price. It's quite frankly amazing and I do take the shade linen in this as well. It is very heavy duty <laughs> and it is quite bright. I absolutely love a stark bright under eye. I don't think it's anything I'll ever grow out of. Especially if I'm doing a full coverage glam makeup look. On day to day wear I will not go for anything that's stark white or too bright in the under eyes. I go for something a wee bit more natural but with full glam. I want a bright under eye. With that being quite bright as well, you can see how nicely and easy that blend out. And it's just, oh, <laughs> I love it. I just love how full coverage this concealer is, but it's an absolute dream to blend out. The finish is just the same type of finish, I would say, as the foundation. It just has like a really nice satin like finish and just with whatever excess is on that sponge I'm just going to press it in around my chin and my mouth and just maybe a wee bit up the centre of the forehead. Just like the foundation I feel like the concealer just gives a really nice blurred look and effect to the under eyes as well. Um, I'm trying to figure out what palette to use. I might just use this one, the She Glam Afterglow palette. It's a bit of a jib for the Natasha Denona gold palette. I have it <laughs> and I did do a comparison video with these two palettes like side by side on each eye. Honestly there was no difference really. Um, so I might just actually use this one here. So I'm just going to take a transitional colour, so maybe this one I suppose. I'm having one of those days where I keep on thinking about the dream that I had last night. I hate that. I hate whenever your dreams affect your real life. <laughs> Especially your day. I hate it. But the dream I had last night was... I don't even know where it came from. It usually I have an explanation for my dreams or like why I dreamt that or why a certain person was maybe in my dream but I basically dreamt that somebody burnt my house down and it wasn't the house that I live in now but it was my mum's house but it was this house how it was decorated inside but it was in another village so it was like my house but not my house <laughs> and I knew the person had done it stood and watched the person who done it and then I'm going to take a darker shade. I'm using a protector concealer at the minute to carve out my brows and I really don't like it. It's not very often I find a concealer that I really don't like but it kind of got me thinking of a video idea and I, <laughs> to be fair, I don't actually know if I've got enough products to actually do it but I'll have a think about it but the video idea is um showing and talking to you about all the products that I have that I wouldn't buy myself with my own money but they were sent to me in PR and this was this is just one of these concealers you see I was sent it in PR but I wouldn't buy it myself the only reason I have it is because it was sent to me is that silly is that a stupid idea I think it's kind of a wee bit interesting to kind of know what products that I've just got because I've been sent, but I wouldn't actually go out and purchase it myself. I'm just not the biggest fan of it, it's fine. The concealer itself is fine, but because I've been using it, and like I don't like it for my under eyes that much, so that's why I'm using it to carve out my brows. Um, but it's just, yeah. That's a bit of a base for the She Glam eyeshadow topper in the shade Honey Drip. I'm gonna add one of these shimmer shades on top of the lid first. I'm 
my collar is freaking stunning. I think that is shimmer. And it's so buttery smooth as well. So easy to use and apply. Ah. But I did show you this, of course, in my She Glam makeup haul. This is absolutely stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Really pressing that on over the lid to start. Kind of pressing it on but kind of swiping as well because that's really going to get the metallic coming through and coming out and then up to the crease coming and laying off my pressure and just patting up there. Still want a wee bit of shimmer and pigment up there but not as much and full coverage say so, as the lid i do apologize i had to go and charge my camera it was losing battery far too quickly for some reason but i just saw my lashes a wee bit of eyeliner i used the nars mambo eyeliner just in my waterline but now to finish off the skin cream blush i have this palette the cottage core garden palette coral oranges there's like a bit of a pinky one but more like terracotta warm shades and tones and then i have these and then these are also new as well i think i might actually use one of these because they're cute <laughs> so let me say i have three shades here obviously emotion i think they're all relatively like pinky shades and tones because I've mentioned in my haul that because I got this palette here with these shades and tones um, that are more like peachy and corally, I got these in pinky shades. So I would have a mixture of a bit of both. So that's the shade Emotion. Affection, no. <laughs> What's this? I might use this one, Delight. Um. Do you know, mm -hmm. no, I don't know if I want to use that one either, actually. Lunar Orbit Blush Ball. Like, I just think that the shade is beautiful. It's quite nicely pigmented, not too pigmented though. And it's quite easy to blend as well. Colour's looking good. Might go in with my concealer sponge. I obviously have brought it right into my inner corner, but then I still like to grab my concealer sponge and give that all a wee bit of a blend. And then go in again. <laughs> How many of these were screaming at me? I forgot to cream bronze. <laughs> so the foundation stick, and I'm taking the shade Caramel. Oh, this is gonna feel so wrong. <laughs> Just put on blush. Ew. You know the way you just have your routine? Oh my god. Okay, so the reason I picked up caramel in the cream bronzer or the shade caramel in the foundation stick is because I thought that it was the same as this camel so this is camel and this is caramel I'm gonna go and set my under eyes, mainly my teeth, so I'm just with a press setting powder. So I have two here. This is the one that I always use if I'm gonna be using one from She Glam. It is their Skin Focus High Coverage Foundation Powder. It's kind of within the same range as the Foundation Balm, this one, and the Foundation Stick. And then I also have this, which is the Veal Oil Control Powder, which comes in just a wee compact like so. You get a wee sponge and then a powder. So I might actually just take this for a change. This one is actually a very similar to, you know, the Maybelline one. The, is it the 12R, 24R? This one here. So it's kind of like a jip. You know, they're very, very similar. 
For this scent powder, I'm really intrigued to try this Radiance Ring 3-in-1 Correcting Scent Powder. So I think this is supposed to be a dupe or they kind of took inspiration from the Givenchy scent powder. It's kind of going viral around TikTok. Well, I wouldn't say viral, but a couple of people have been talking about it. I find that if Michaela is talking about something, you instantly think it's gone viral. <laughs> Um, but you know the Givenchy powder that has like the four powders, you know, the three in one situation? Apparently they have changed their formula. So yeah, but I think this is what this powder is supposed to kind of replicate. Give it a bit of a shake so all the three colours combine. Okay, so it's supposed to make the skin look radiant, even skin tone, hide imperfections. I don't know how it's supposed to hide imperfections. I would say because it's going to mattify the skin in a way, that's how it's going to hide imperfections. But I feel like it's not going to give you any coverage which is going to hide or correct imperfections. Does that make sense? So in terms of like the shades, so the light blue is to correct yellow tones in the skin and the peachy yellowy one is to just even skin tone. <laughs> literally what it says and then this one is to bring radiance to the skin so I'm guessing there's maybe a bit of a shimmer through it or something I don't want to say glitter because I don't want to put you off it but I can kind of see a bit of a sparkle going on just kind of feel it as well whenever I was kind of rubbing it on my hands the texture feels quite nice and lightweight it's kind of clung in here as well. Ooh. Oh, that is full on shimmer. <laughs> Basically, I don't know, and I know for a fact that my camera is not picking this up completely. If I was filming this in my phone, this would look great. You'd be able to see exactly what I mean. But basically, if you go back and you watch Michaela's video where she is comparing the two Givenchy powders, what the powder from Givenchy looks like now on her skin, this is what this powder is looking like on my under eyes. Maybe not as bad, but mm, too much radiance going on there for my liking. As much as I don't mind a bit of glow going on somewhere, but just not my under eyes. Maybe a bit of a healthy glow. <laughs> But nothing that's going to look like an actual shimmer. Now that I have it dusted off, like the excess dust it off, it doesn't look to be patchy as much anymore on my under eyes. It's done a really nice job of setting. It really has nicely set and as I say, it is quite a nice lightweight powder. Just that shimmeriness coming through just isn't, I don't know, I'm just... Now that the excess is kind of dusted off my skin, I'm not hating it as much. I'm gonna try this powder again. I'm definitely gonna try this again and see how I feel because since it's dusted off, it's not looking as bad, but I am gonna go in with a wee bit of setting spray. Setting spray, sorry. Like, it's not bad. I instantly was thinking there, oh hell no, but now, it's actually not that bad. I genuinely would actually be happy enough using this again and going out with this on my skin. I take my statement back about what I said with the Givenchy powder and the new formulated one, how it looked on Michaela's skin. This isn't how this looks on my skin. It's just, how has it changed so much in the past, what, minute? <laughs> Now for the lips. This is the She Glam Lip Facts Lip Liner in the shade So Lucky. It's a wee bit dry. I feel like I'm just scraping it over my lips. I think there's definitely a payoff. There's no doubt about that. But it's just not the creamiest. Yeah, I'm not sure about this lip liner. That was just an unpleasant experience. <laughs> and the She Glam Lip Plumper. This wee one here, and I'm taking the shade First Crush. I 
Um, say these wee lip plumpers though, I really rate them. But yeah, I'm just not feeling that lip. <laughs> um, it's just, it's too much because the eyes are a lot, the lips are too much. Okay, my love, so that's everything. How good was that though? I don't think there was anything that I didn't like. The powder, we're on the fence about that. We're definitely going to use that again. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. And I'll see you in my next one.